Hey guys, this is Swift here. Before the video starts, let me fill you in on what's going on. So, as the title says, my power supply died. Um, the reason I found out it was dying is because uh, there was a burnt electronic smell coming from it and it stunk up my room bad. I went to go get some cereal because I was starving and then uh, um, when I come upstairs, I just realized that my, my room stunk like really, really bad. So what I did, my, my computer was already off. I disconnected the power cord to the power supply and I opened up my computer. I tried identifying which part stunk and then I found out it was a power supply. And um, I took it out. When I took it out, I, had, I was looking into the thing. I was looking inside the power supply to see if there's any odd features that uh, like maybe a uh, one of the cords got uh, unsolded, unsolded off the thing or something just completely burned off. But um, I didn't know, I didn't see anything odd. So that was kind of surprised me, it just stunk pretty bad. So what I did is I just took it out and um, a few days later, I went to go buy a new uh, power supply, which resulted to being the uh, Thermal Take 650 Watt um, Bronze Plus Smart, I think. Um, I'll have the link in the description on which one I bought. And um, I've never heard of it, honestly. I knew Thermal Take did a couple power supplies, but I didn't know they had that specific one or what a power or smart power supply was. It's it just caught me off guard, but like, um, I didn't have that much money to waste. I wasted a bit of my Christmas money to purchase it, so yeah, that's it kind of sucked. I had to blow off like a good amount of it, so at least uh, at least my, none of my computer components fried, so I'm really glad about that. And I'm thankful that didn't happen because there's some people that got really unfortunate where the entire system fried because of the uh, power supply, so I mean, thank you Corsair for uh, that screwing me over and I do state that uh, I don't trust Corsair anymore and I kind of take that back. I just don't trust the one I had because uh, that was a bronze and I mean if you want a good power supply go for something higher and um, <clears throat> yeah Corsair is still a good product. I would go for them for some good um, power supplies just please don't go bronze. I had went for bronze also here but that's because Best Buy only sold uh, bronze ones. They didn't have any good ones like honestly. And if they were, they were probably 100 plus and I didn't want to spend that much. I spent like 75 on the power supply I have. Um, so that kind of blowed also. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. Hey guys, and we're back. Um, what I've managed to do is, let me come in real quick. I've managed to purchase a new power supply. I've got the thermal take smart 60 650 watt 80 plus bronze um i was gonna get the same one i purchased before but uh i don't know if i want to trust corsair anymore so yeah okay so um the first thing i'm gonna do before we decide to install our new power supply is uh, i'm gonna tidy up the inside of my old case or my case sorry i've got some zip ties laying around oh found them and I'm gonna tidy up the cords really quickly. So hope you don't mind. I'm gonna point you in the direction of the computer. And I'm gonna zoom into the cords. And yeah. So I was deciding, I was gonna Now that I've managed to reroute the uh, little uh, HDR, HD audio, or not the HD audio, the power LED, the power switch, reset switch, and all that, make made it a little bit more clean. I could possibly, I gotta find a way to hide these now. So uh, let me tweak around real quick.
it. Yeah, good. There you go. Is that good? I suck it out. Now that most of my cords there are handled, um, I'm looking at what I could fix. Um, and I'm gonna look a little bit, take a quick peek up here. Um, let me see if I can hack these cables a little bit more. Or this one specifically, let's see if I can pull. The, I think this is the USB 2.0 or 3.0. Let me see if I can pull it out just a little bit. Okay, there's not much I could do there. I guess that's as good as it could go. Alright, so uh, last but not least is these cords. Let's see how I can hide them. Is there much I can put there? Sadly, I don't think there's much I can do about that. Uh, okay, well at least I rerouted it. It's not here, it's not messy. Uh, now to the good part. The, Power, so power is the blood. So I've got a knife right here. Let me see if I can open it. It's a broken knife. The little hook broke. I have a better knife that's downstairs. Um, I took it with me when I when I went hunting. When I went, yeah, when I went hunting, and uh, yeah, I guess I just have that one left over from when I broke, and it just have it throughout. So yeah, let me send you guys, or let me show you guys I'm putting it in. Top, I like it because it's a different uh, grill type compared to the old, uh, my old CX750M, which is this one. Let me, let me compare them together right here. Alright, this is both of the power supplies. This is a Thermal Take 650, um, uh, 80 plus bronze, the state, uh, the smart power supply, and this is the Corsair C CX750 modular. Um, I don't know, it's different in a way, I guess. The um, the grill is completely different. I'm pretty sure they both have the same 140 millimeter uh, fan. Um, I kind of like, I like the 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 look of this one, the Thermal Take. But it's kind of upsetting that it's all non-modular, so I can't choose what cords I'm gonna need. But it doesn't matter, I guess. We're gonna get started now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect these so they don't get in the way. Now disconnect them last. My USB, my HD audio. I know where they belong, so it's not gonna be a problem there. I can put them towards the back of the case so they're not in the way. And let's get started. And I'm gonna give you guys a little information on this. CPU one was the hardest plug to put in. Not even, that was like my second one to connect. Um, I say it's the hardest because uh, the, the cord wasn't long enough. It's a. Uh, see, it's a. Uh, let me hold it from the track off right side. See, it's right here. Um, I, can't, I can't wrap it around much. I don't wanna put pressure on the, the uh, RAM. So let me put it up here actually. Nope, I'm not gonna bother. Actually, that seems right. That seems like a good idea. It's better than having it just in front of the RAM. So, um, it was two pieces. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys not too long ago, but it was two pieces. And, um, it just, it was hard to put both of them together. I had to stop recording because it wasn't gonna work out too good. So, I'm sorry about that. And, um, I mean, at first it wasn't going in all the way, but, uh, but now I've got it where it clicked in. It's focusing on the fan. 
foot in on the way. I made sure to hear the click, I saw it. It's good. So yeah, the next part I'm gonna go on is the 24 pin and uh, enjoy. All right, so I'm almost done. I'm just rerouting all my cables. Cause uh, this power supply did make my case look, look a little ugly. So I'm really just trying to tidy this up as best as I can cause it's not pretty at all. So it appears we're done. Um, so it seems my ducky has survived. And uh, Jake the dog has not, sadly, but let's get him back up, there you go. Okay, um, if you thought we were done, you were wrong. Uh, I'm not sure if you realize this, but this power supply is bigger when I said it was bigger earlier. Like, give me a second. I'm not sure if you realize this, but uh, take a look. There is no USB 2.0, there's no HD audio connected. Um, Sure, we don't need the USB one, but uh, if I want to have a good sound, I guess I need to connect it. Uh, coming at least coming from the front ports, and then the USB I don't really don't need, but you know, might as well connect them. So my objective is uh, this. Uh, let me zoom this out again. This area that we had secured for uh, cable management, it's no longer allowed because there's no space. And I'm telling you, this power supply is big. This old power supply that we have doesn't compare to it. But there's one thing I am happy about. This place does not stink anymore because of this stupid power supply. Oh, yeah, right. This power supply stinks. And uh, yeah. I'm um, concluding this. Uh, here's a heads up. I want you guys to never get a mod or non-modular power supply because you're gonna have to deal with bad, bad. Cable management I had to work around a lot. This is how the front looks, and feast your eyes, boys, because the back isn't pretty. See, you can see I tried taking advantage as much as I could. Um, I'd use these little hooks for uh, the HD audio and the USB earlier. I really don't think it's gonna close. I really don't think the case is gonna close at all. We're gonna have to make it work, so we're gonna find out if it boots up first. That's the thing. So. Now that everything's connected, drop the cord, but okay. Um, we're gonna get the uh, power connected. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but the, the power supply is not on. And when I flick this, yep, it's lighting up the motherboard. That means the motherboard is getting its proper uh, power. So now what we're gonna do is let me move my computer a little bit closer so I can fit both in the frame. So we're gonna see if it turns on. Give it a second, it does that. It's booting up. Uh, it's yeah, it takes up to the boot up. Okay. Glare, let me turn that off. It appears to be working. Um, I mean, everything's working. I didn't get an error. Getting windows ready. Sorry. I'm just getting used to this tripod. Sorry. And we're in. I don't have a... Uh, I don't have a set, uh, oh crap. I don't have a set uh, desktop background, so it's gonna be doing that. So I plug there. And um, yeah, it seems that it worked. Um, let me see if there's a smell. Okay, so um, so there's a little smell left over, but uh, I, could, I could smell brand new like air, not brand new air, just a new current of air pushing through and trying to get through the old smell and trying to get new air since you can't really create air and just uh, perhaps what's around so I guess sooner or later it'll go away um, this I'm gonna search away how I can properly dispose this I'm not sure if I could just junk this out throw it out my window I'll do something with it and uh, I, I would say I'll do like I throw it out and I'm beating it up like me beating up this beat up uh, I don't know this uh, 
or no power supply but if I did that I'm pretty sure I would kill myself because uh, these things do not properly discharge even when they're disconnected which is why I don't want to open it up and see what's fried because uh, if uh, it feels still not discharged yeah that would have been bad but yeah hope you guys enjoyed um, this might be a little bit more better than my graphics card unboxing because my graphics card unboxing was uh, a little bit wild because of uh, all the moving but now I've got a proper uh, whatever it's called bipod so now it's better problem is I don't know when it's straight or not so it might be turned a little bit so eh, it's gonna be turned like my videos though so hope you guys enjoy that and uh hope you guys enjoy peace